today we will learn about Django. We will learn about Django framework. This is one of the most popular web development framework in Python. So let's get started on this tutorial. Let's get started on Django framework tutorial. Okay. This is going to be very useful if you wanted to do some uh, web development. You wanted to write either a REST API or do some portal work. This is going to be very useful for you. So this site is djangoproject.com. This is the official site where you can go and see lots of documentation and information about Django. So as I say, it is used for the web app, not the desktop app. Django is why to use Django. It is a Python web development framework which is very fast, very secure and very scalable. Okay. Uh, right now the latest version of Django is 3.0.6. Now to get started with Django, these are what you need to do. Uh, why so let's get first understand why to use Django okay so as we have seen Django is really fast it was designed to help developers take application from concept to completion as quickly as possible if you want to complete something really fast you can use Python Django web development framework it is fully loaded with so many libraries it has inbuilt feature of security such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting. Otherwise, in many languages, you need to implement it separately, but it has inbuilt in it. It is exceedingly scalable. Okay, scalable, versatile. These are the things that you want in any programming language to work. And Django provides everything that is needed for web development. Now, how to install Django? So if you want to install Django from command line, you can do like this from this command python-m pip install Django. Previously I have installed on my machine Django framework. Let's try to and then I uninstalled it. Let's try to see. So it is as I said 3.0.6 is the latest which is trying to install on my machine. Okay, 3.0.6 is the latest version which is getting installed. I'm not specifying any specific version, so by default, it will install the latest version on my machine. Okay, pip, as I said, is a Python package manager which will help you to do this. We have seen the uh, use of pip previously also when we need to install any libraries uh, of Python. Okay, so it is the Python package manager like in node we have npm okay let's see how much time it is so it is installing right now uh, Django framework it will take some time to install it by that time let's go to see the uh, what next we'll do once it is installed how to check what is the version and uh, whether it is installed public, uh, properly or not. It's Python minus am Django version. Using this command you can find which version is installed on your machine. Okay. For, window, uh, for Windows user Python is fine. For Mac user you can try with Python 3 as well commands. Okay. And then how to create a project? You can start a Django project using this command. Okay, let's see if yeah. So it is installed on my machine. Let's verify it. So 3.0.6 is installed on my machine. So the best thing about Python is Python documentation is really Com very good detailed comprehensive document using which you don't need to go to other sites to or other uh, places so if you, for Django please visit this website djangoproject.com okay 
now uh, to get started uh, i have created a project but let's create a new project i'll write it I can demo project. Uh, D is silent. So how to pronounce Django? It's D is silent. J and G Django only. Don't pronounce with D. So I'll uh, create a new window in this project. This will get. Uh, so I am using PyCharm, which is one of the popular. ID uh, for Python development. Okay, I have created a, another project on Django that will uh, visit uh, after this new project. What I want, I want to start with Django on a, Django on a fresh project so that you can understand everything from beginning. Okay, so it is installing, find all the necessary things which is supposed to be there once this project will get created what I'll do I'll install the Django related uh, related libraries in it okay so using this command Django admin start project my side you can add the libraries inside your project Django related libraries and what will be installed after these are the things that will get created okay so for example manage.py a command line that gives you interact lets you interact with the django project on various ways then this url is very important url declaration for the project so a website every web, website web portal or a rest api is uh, accessed using the urls so url is very important so these are the things that will get installed once I'll add library to it. Let's see if my project gets created. Yes, it gets created here. Okay. Now I'll go to terminal and we'll install these libraries. Okay. So I'll uh, try to do it inside. Suppose I'll create a new directory which is named my site. Okay, so I'll try to run it. Okay, uh, hang on. Uh, why it's not taking Django admin? Python minus T. Uh, no modules named. Okay, so I have since I have installed it there, it's not installed here. So what I'll do? Let me try to install here as well in this project. So previously we have stored here in a separate location, work location. Now this is a separate work location. I'll just increase the size so that we can understand what all is happening here.
Django, it's uh, as we can see, it's installed successfully here. Now it is updating skeletons, installing in the rest of the packages. So if I okay, now I'll start here. Okay, uh, maybe I'll try it. Uh, so since my site I have already created, that's why it's giving it. So I will start with my product. Okay. So once this is done, I'll just uh, say. See, my products gets created, and inside this my product, URL, WS, GI, everything gets create, uh, created, which is defined here. Okay. These all files gets created. Now, how to run the project? So, to run the server, remember if you are on Python, if you are on Mac, then use Python 3 on Windows, Python will work. So, what I will do, I will just, so I will just do this. Because I have created since I have created my pro, inside my product all these required files, that's why or from the main project it was not running. So I went inside my product. And then so it is by default working uh, running on port eight thousand. Okay. So what I'll do? I'll uh, try to go to the browser and then I'll. Access it. Let me access on Anthem. See. So the installation was successful and Django project is running. Now I have not defined any other web pages uh, like uh, index or login. I have not created anything inside this. Okay by default it's a, and uh, admin this is the admin console of django administration that gets created by default so what we have seen how to install django how to start the django project okay in this tutorial uh, let's see if uh, what new in the next tutorial uh, we'll see how to create new urls apart from this default url what all i can create okay so till the time thank you viewers